What's up you guys, it's Deep Oi and today we will be creating this awesome grass text effect in Photoshop. Now if you guys also have any tutorial requests then you can drop them in the comments below. We will surely try to create videos on those as well. Also if you want to keep learning how to create such cool things in Photoshop for free then make sure you smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. So without wasting any more time of yours, let's get started. So let's first start by creating a new document so for that go to file and then select the option as new and then you can set the width and height accordingly or else you can set it as follows width as around 3840 pixels height as around 2160 pixels and then set the resolution as 300 pixels per inch and then click on create now the next thing we need to do is fill this document with that of a nice background color so for that click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select the option as gradient now in the pop-up you need to click on the gradient icon which will give you an option to select the gradient now over here we will be creating a custom gradient so for that select the gradient as black and white and then double click on the leftmost bottom color stop which will give you an option to set the color and then set the color as follows a3 ff71 and then click on ok after that double click on the rightmost bottom color stop and then set the color as follows e3 ffcc and then click on ok after that you can click on ok and then you need to set the style as radial angle as 90 degree make sure you tick this reverse checkbox and then set the scale as 300 percent and then you can click on ok so now as you can see now our background is ready now the next thing we need to do is type in our text so for that select horizontal type tool and then you can select any font of your choice download link for the font i'm choosing is in the description below also if you don't know how to install font in photoshop the link for that is in the description as well and then set any appropriate size for your text i'm setting it to 250 point and then click on the foreground color and then set any color of your choice which will be the color of our text anyways it won't matter since we are going to remove it later on so i'm setting the color as random at the moment and then click on ok after that you can click on the document and then type in any text of your choice so once your text is complete, after that you need to click on this tick icon in order to place it. And then we need to place this text at the center of the document. So for that press Ctrl or Command on Mac and then click on this background layer which will give you the selection of the background layer as well as keep the selection of the text layer active. And then select move tool. After that click on align horizontal centers and then click on align vertical centers. So now as you can see now the text has been placed at the center of the document. Now the next thing we need to do is make the text layer active by clicking on it. And then we need to convert this text layer into a smart object. So for that right click on the text layer and then select the option as convert to smart object. So now as you can see now our text has been converted into a smart object. Now the next thing we need to do is add some roundness around the edges of our text. So for that go to filter and then noise and then select the option as median. And then you can set the radius to around 20 pixels. Now let me just show you the before and after of this median filter. So for that clicking on the preview checkbox. So this was the before and now this is after. After that you can click on OK. So now as you can see now our text is ready. Now the next thing we need to do is bring in any grass background image of our choice. So for that go to file and then select the option as place embedded. After that you can select any grass image of your choice. Download link for the image I am choosing is in the description below and then select the option as place. Now we need to make sure that our grass image fits the whole text and if it does not then we need to scale it up but since this image fits the whole text so I don't need to do anything. After that we need to click on the stick icon in order to place it. Now we only need this image on the portion where our text was there and we don't need it for the rest of the image so for that we need to get the selection of the text so for that press Ctrl or command on Mac and then click on the icon of the text layer. So now once you have the selection of the text after that you need to make sure that your grass image layer is active by clicking on it. After that you need to click on add layer mask icon which will only keep the portion of the image which is inside of the selection and hide the rest of the image. So now as you can see now we have added the grass image only on the text but as you can see it is looking a bit too fake because of the edges over here and we need to do something about it. So for that select brush tool and then click on the drop down over here. And then select any grass brush of your choice. The brush I'll be choosing is a custom made and the link for that is in the description as well. After that let me just minimize this drop down. And then set the opacity and the flow of the brush to 100% and then click on the toggle brush panel icon. And then in the pop up you need to select the shape dynamics option. And then set the value of the size jitter to maximum. Set the value of the angle jitter to maximum as well. And then set the value of the roundness jitter to maximum as well. And then we need to reset the initial size of the brush as well. So for that select the brush tip shape option and then set the size of the brush to around 70 pixels. And then you can close this pop up. 
So now once all the settings of the brush have been completed, after that we again need to get the selection of the text. So for that press Ctrl or Command on Mac and then click on the icon of the text layer. So now once you have the selection, now you need to select any selection tool. So let me just select quick selection tool. And then you need to right click inside of the selection and then select the option as make work path. And then set the value of the tolerance to 1 pixels and then click on OK. So now once you have the path, after that you need to select pen tool. And then you need to make sure that the mask of the grass layer is active and not the grass image itself. After that you need to right click inside of the path and then select the option as stroke path. And then set the tool as brush. Make sure you untick the simulate pressure option and then click on OK. So now as you can see now it is looking more proper. Now we need to hide this path. So for that hit the enter or return key on your keyboard. Now let me just show you the before and after of the thing we just did. So this was the before and now this is after. So as you can see this is now looking much more realistic. Now in order to make it look more realistic we need to add some depth on this grass text. So for that select add layer style option and then select the option as bevel and emboss. Now in the pop up you need to set the style as in a bevel, technique as smooth, depth as 400%, direction as up, size as around 100 pixels, soften to around 16 pixels and then make sure you untick this use global light option and then set the angle to around 120 degree, altitude to around 30 degree, click on the drop down of the gloss contour and then select the option as half round. After that make sure you tick this anti alias option and then set the blend mode of the highlight mode as overlay, color as white, opacity of the highlight mode to 75% and then set the blend mode of the shadow mode to overlay as well, color as black and then set the opacity to around 15%. Now let me just show you the before and after of this bevel and emboss. So this was the before and now this is after. After that you need to select the contour option and then click on the drop down of the contour and then set the contour as half round and then set the range to around 50%. Now let me just show you the before and after of this contour as well. So this was the before and now this is after. Now the next thing we need to do is add some shadows over here as well. So for that select the option as drop shadow and then let me just reset it to default. And then set the blend mode of the shadow to multiply. Click on the color icon and then set the color as black. After that you need to set the opacity to around 75%. Make sure you untick this use global light option and then set the angle to around 150 degree. Set the distance to around 20 pixels, spread as 0% and then set the size to around 40 pixels and then you can keep the rest of the settings as default. Now let me just show you the before and after of this drop shadow. So this was the before and now this is after. After that you can click on OK. So now as you can see now our grass text is completely ready. So yeah that's it guys that's the final image. I hope you guys like this short video on how to create this grass text effect in Photoshop. Now if you guys like this video then give us a thumbs up. It helps the YouTube algorithm in spreading the video. Also you can share it to the ones who might be interested in such videos. And subscribe to the channel for more videos in Photoshop. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.